sunrise on Kibbutz Suba in the Judean hills near Jerusalem. Mark Sarabia and the kibbutz workers have been up since three o'clock in the morning collecting this year's harvest of Chardonnay grapes. Vineyards like these are now commonplace in Israel, where more than 200 boutique wineries have sprung up in the last 10 years, fueling a new generation of Israeli wines. Sarabia spent most of his life in France, but it wasn't until he planted these kibbutz vineyards 12 years ago that he began learning about wine. In my background, there was always wine, okay? Uh, because I am in the, I come from a very big region of wine, uh, Montpellier. I planted this one 12 years ago. Uh, this is a white uh, Chardonnay uh, um, a grape. And we have a lot of uh, white, we have Viognier, Sémillon, et, uh, et Sauvignon Blanc. I use, uh, you know, the Thaian uh, workers. Here we have a good uh, climate for this. In a cellar beneath Moshav Ramat Raziel in the Judean hills, Eli Ben Zaken is waiting for the grapes from this year's harvest for his next vintage of Chardonnay. Castel Winery, founded by Eli Ben Zaken in 1988, now produces wines which sell for more than $100 a bottle in the United States. He says it's a labor of love. Defining the moment of harvest is very important. The this is a critical choice the winemaker has to make and uh, it, it involves logistics and getting uh, crews to, to pick and, and, uh, and sometimes we might start picking and stop and, uh, and wait a few more days. Uh, we're always very uh, anxious not to be a bit too late because then you will get jamminess in the wine and heaviness. And, but. Uh, we're in a good region. Eli Benzaken says it's not just about business. He says that producing a good Israeli wine helps people abroad to understand what Israel is really like. The wine has an image. To make good, good wines and to export them is to show that, you know, what is, is in common that uh, between us and that Israel is not really a barbaric country where people are shooting each other all the time and we can make uh, things that are enjoyable for us and for the others. A sophisticated summer evening in Jerusalem Music, food, and good Israeli wine at the Avi Ben wine shop in central Jerusalem. In the last 10 years, more than 200 boutique wineries have sprung up in Israel, producing wines which can compete with the very best in the world. Yair Morag at Avi Ben says the quality of the new local wines show that Israelis are learning to savor the finer things in life. Certainly, there are more aware of the different varieties and you don't only get one kind of wine and uh, the quality has improved as well. Fifty years ago kosher wines for the public uh, outside of Israel had to be mevushal or boiled. Uh, nowadays uh, hardly no winery makes uh, boiled wines. We don't boil the wines anymore. Um, so kosher doesn't really affect the wines itself. Uh, you have to pay uh, there isn't a kosher wine, there is a wine that has hashgacha, that has uh, someone who keeps over the whole process. Um, so actually the, the wine making process isn't affected at all. Uh, you can get really good kosher wines and you can get really good non-kosher wines. Uh, lots of many small wineries are now opening, there are about 300 small and boutique wineries in Israel. My name is Morli Natan. I'm from Jerusalem and I'm a sommelier of uh, Saslov Winery. It's really um, new, so not a lot of people really know it, but they make 
really amazing wine in Israel. So next time you open a bottle for that special occasion, there's a whole rack of fine wines from Israel for you to choose from. This is Matthew Kalman for JTN, Jerusalem.